Today, we're going to read a poem by this guy, Stephen Crane. And he wrote this short poem called In Heaven. And you're not going to understand what it's talking about. You're not even going to get it until I tell you a little bit of background about Stephen Crane. All right. He wrote The Red Badge of Courage. And you're going to have to read that in high school. And you're not going to understand why. The reason why is because Stephen Crane did something that no one of his generation did. Writers and poets of his time would write about extraordinary people, great, amazing, beyond belief people, right? But Stephen Crane wrote about ordinary people doing extraordinary stuff. And that's what made him so unique. In his famous book, The Red Badge of Courage, he talked about the day-to-day life of what these Civil War soldiers would have seen. And everybody was shocked to find out after reading that book that he wasn't actually in the Civil War. He was actually born after it had ended. But his writing was so on point. It was so perfect that, I mean, don't worry about it. You're going to have to read Red Bad of Courage in high school, and then you'll know what I mean. But for this poem here, you just need to know that he was a very original mind and a very original writer. He was friends with H.G. Wells and Joseph Conrad. And if you don't know who those people are, go look them up. I mean, H.G. Wells, man. Ernest Hemingway even said that he was influenced by the works of Stephen Crane. Like, I mean, that's the biggest compliment you can get. But this poem here is about grass going to heaven. I mean, what do you think a single blade of grass is going to say to God? And that's exactly what this poem is. Something ordinary doing something extraordinary. We're still talking about him 120 years after his death. So take a listen to in heaven and see if it moves you like it moved me. In heaven, some little blades of grass stood before God. What did you do? Then, all save one of the little blades began to eagerly relate the merits of their lives. This one stayed a small way behind, ashamed. Presently, God said, And what did you do? The little blade answered, Oh, my Lord, memory is bitter to me, for if I did good deeds, I know not of them. Then God, in all his splendor, arose from his throne. Oh, best little blade of grass, he said. That's it.